Welcome back to Millions by Nephew. It's Nephew. I talk about stocks, trading, all types of crypto, and ways to find these value stocks that I'm really looking for. And you guys can make lots of percentages and a lot of potential if you know what you're looking for and you study. Now, this is an educational um, channel. It's all educational purposes only. And I'm not licensed, so make sure you know that before you get started. My disclaimers are in the description. But I basically like looking up stock analysis. And in this video, we're going to do some stock analysis for the AMD stock. And I want to talk to you also about in this video why and how fundamental trading, also my technical trading, like how I've been able to meet the two together to be able to find these these trades that, that are starting to help me grow my account and become a consistent trader. For the last year, I have been day trading and losing all my money. And basically, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Now, I would have some six, you know, five or six days consistent wins where I'm just picking the right ones. And then I would have and then I was doing that all based on technical analysis. And then I would have the following week where I'm losing all my money and I'm being impatient and I'm jumping out. And I guess that's where fundamentals would have helped me if I had the patience to figure that out. And if I had a, a sound strategy for a fundamental strategy, along with my technical analysis, I would have been able to weather the storm and stick it out. But I, I didn't read into none of the businesses. I was just, you know, and I was just day trading. And, you know, day traders don't really read a lot into the businesses they buy into. They just buy based on news headlines and trending and momentum. So let's talk about AMD. AMD is a company that makes, you know, chips and they make graphics cards for computers and stuff like that. They make computer chips like, uh, you know, microprocessors. So why I like this company is that over time, its value obviously shot like really low here. And around this point is really bottom out. Now, these are the kind of trades that I look for. I'm looking for stuff that has bottomed out like it did here and begins making money in the future. I don't want to find these before that happens. And these are value stocks. This this thing was all the way down to um, this thing was all the way down to a dollar or so at this point. It was so low that it would have been nice to have. Yeah, like this would have been nice, a really nice time to buy, you know, a thousand shares. And that's what I'm looking for companies that if I buy a thousand shares when it's super low at a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks and then hold on to them. And now the price is like 50 bucks a share. Now I got $50 for a thousand. So that means I make $50,000 off of a thousand dollars. That's bananas. I like seriously bananas, but that's exactly what I'm looking for on this channel. So if you guys are into that, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what companies you are staring at right now that might have value in them. As I want to work with you guys, I want us to be a community of guys that are helping each other. Like I said, this is an educational channel and we need to make money together, guys. We're not making money. Then what are we doing? You know, so. Let's just say that the reason why I decided to stop day trading, it, it, I'm not going to stop completely. But what I'm doing is I'm I'm changing the duration of my trades. I went from trading every few minutes to trading um, slower and slower to doing swing trading to eventually realizing that I can't really get the trades wrong the longer I wait. And I mean, what I mean by that is that a lot of what's built into my mind as to what value is, I can, that value stays in me. Um, it stays the truth for me. And then eventually at some point that value shows up in the market and the price reflects that value at some point. And so I noticed that a lot of stuff in my watch, a lot, a lot of stocks on my watch list would end up gaining a lot of value as time would go on. And I realized that, dang, I, I used to be invested in that. Now it's up 100%. I used to be invested in this. 
Now that's up 60%. Wow, this up 20% since I had it. So what if I never sold any of these ever and had bought those and made that 60%, made that 100%, made that 20%? Where would my account be now? Would I have lost all my money like when I was trading? You know, what about with, with crypto when I was buying and trading crypto? But then there was also the fact that crypto was bottomed out when Bitcoin was at, you know, 30, you know, eight, you know, 4,500 per coin. Why didn't I just buy? Um, why wasn't I buying them and just keeping them? I could have got to four. I could have got to like three or four Bitcoin and just held them. And there's no day trading necessary. So a lot of what I learned in the last year taught me that short term moves are a lot more riskier. They they pay a lot if you can do it quickly. But the fact of the matter is, I'm going to make the same money. I stand to make even more money than making two and three and four percent, five percent, six percent in the short term. If I can make 100 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent, 200 percent in the long term, it's all the same to me. It's just a matter of how long can you keep your money tied up? So AMD is a company, like I said, where around this time before the stock started to really go up, crypto started to go up. And by crypto, I mean, this is around the time that Bitcoin shot up. You look at the chart, Bitcoin reached this high around here and so did this. It shot back up. What that tells me is that people started buying graphics cards to mine crypto. And ever since then, they've been doing so, as you can see. There's a lot of mining going on. <laughs> and you look at this. This is crazy, right? Now, what this tells me is that this is a fundamental play in the fact that AMD is a cheaper or more, more affordable graphics card than NVIDIA. And when I look at the NVIDIA chart, I can also see that um, that they were losing money. And let me see. They were losing market share to, uh, I think it's just with an N, right? They were, they were losing market share to to AMD around the same time. Do you look at this chart? This chart tells a, a full story that at some point in 2017, this also went up from all the way down here up. So why why all of a sudden graphics cards become so popular, guys? Well, crypto, right? This shot all the way up. And then why around here did it drop? Because this is where AMD starts to really take off. Why is that? Because AMD's graphics cards are more affordable. And they do they do certain mining functions better than Nvidia does. They do this simple mining. Uh, they do simple mining instructions um, better than NVIDIA. NVIDIA does more complicated mining algorithms. I should call it algorithms and call it instructions. We'll just call it algorithms. So NVIDIA's algorithms are more complex. So that's more like um, stuff like Bitcoin. You know, you could use NVIDIA, I believe, to mine Bitcoin. But I don't think you can use AMD to, to mine Bitcoin because the algorithm is too complicated. So like... I guess you're using video for like Bitcoin Cash and those algorithms are really difficult and there's certain algorithms that AMD just can't handle. So that's why the price did this drop thing. Now, why is it going back up? Because NVIDIA finally answered the question of, you know, graphics cards costing too much and not being able to get that same value. So now they made cheaper graphics cards that are more affordable for mining. And now they're going back up now because they 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 didn't really make graphics cards for mining. They were making it for just for whatever, you know, like processing and gaming. And that's what they've been focused on. But now they're doing this. Um, they're, they're thinking, OK, well, AMD is kicking our butts. Let's go ahead and change things up. Now, that being said, I invested in AMD when it was at 15 bucks. I wrote it all the way up to like 30, just so you know. So. I, I want you to know that I got out only because I thought that was the peak and I just I, I'm going to go look for another stock. But when you, you know, when you start to see that these companies have fundamentals and you can also see the chart and you can explain what happened on the chart from the fundamentals. That's when I feel that that's a company I can invest in. 
I have to be able to know what's going on with the company and why, based on the charts, what I can see. And if I can explain what the chart is doing, then that's my baby right there. Those are my kind of companies. So I just want you guys to know that that's how I've been able to meet technical with fundamental. And it's helped me to grow my account. And now I'm becoming more consistent of a trader simply because I can explain what's happening on the chart and not because I'm just relying solely on a bunch of patterns um, without having any idea as to what's going on with the business itself. And since I know Lisa Sue was running AMD and I understand her background and did some research on her and she's like the super great CEO that I come to realize that that company is headed all the way to the top. And it's going to be on NVIDIA's level at some point based on their smarts and what they're doing. And NVIDIA is not a shabby company either. They're going to always be able to compete. I just feel sorry for Intel at this point because Intel, they need to step their game up. But at the end of the day, guys, that's what I've been doing. And, you know, so if you want to learn how to do more of that on this channel, the strategy that I'm using, which is allowing me to bring in 30 percent, 40 percent return on just regular stocks and also higher return, higher returns, like 100 percent, 200 percent. Um, been able to catch these stocks by, you know, looking at stocks that have been down, but then they end up going back up and also figuring out if they're going to go up and why so that we can know when's the best time to buy them and when the reversal is going to come. And I, like I said, I can't like I'm not psychic. I can't tell you when a breakout is going to happen. I don't know anything like that, but I just know if there's value in the stock or not at the moment that I see it. And that's what I've been looking for. And I guess we're going to do that on every video now. I'm going to start searching for these. So if you guys are into that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to spend the next couple months just looking through stocks, combing through charts and looking for these trades. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything. Hit the subscribe button. I said that already. Hit the notification button is what I meant to say. And drop a comment. Let me know if you have any stock picks that you want me to look into or any type of trades that you feel like have a lot of value in them. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.